Hi there, quick video today on the magic wand tool. So when I first started using ACDC, it took me a while to understand how to use the magic wand tool, how to use it effectively and where it really kind of shines. So I figured this would be a good topic to cover for a tutorial. The magic wand tool is found in edit mode. It is located with the other selection tools in the main menu bar. It's sort of a combination of automatic and manual pixel selections. Before using the wand tool, I would suggest changing your overlay method. I personally prefer to select using selection highlighted over the traditional marching ants method. So to change this, navigate to select from the menu bar and overlay options is at the bottom. The very first thing to understand about Magic Wand is that it has three modes. New selection, additive selection, and subtract from selection. New selection, which is the first option on the left here, simply selects based on what pixels you've clicked on. Let's click on our uh, images sky here. Uh, this uh, red sky is now our current selection. Now let's click on our subject, and as you can see, uh, the selection is functionally replaced by this new one of our subject. Now you'll notice that my subject isn't fully selected, so what I'm going to do is change the magic wand mode to additive, which is the next icon here on our list. Now let's click on other parts of our subject that we want to select. With every consecutive click, we're targeting more and more parts of our subject. Subtract selection does just that, uh, and you can go back and forth from adding to your selections and then removing from your selections. Okay, so let's have a look at what criteria the wand tool is using to select our subject. There are three criterions. Uh, wand type, so wand type changes what part of the pixel it cares about when making selections. Brightness selects pixels with similar brightness, aka how dark or bright something is. Uh, RGB selects pixels with a red, green, and blue combination, similar to the area of the image you clicked and color selects pixels that are a mixture of both of these other values, so RGB and brightness. Threshold is the second criteria. A lowered threshold will result in a much more discriminatory selection, and a higher threshold will result in a more impartial selection. If I set my threshold to five and select the sky in my image, You'll notice uh, less is selected than when I increase my threshold to 25, and do the same. The third criteria is the connected button. All this means is that when you click to perform a selection, it will try to only select areas that are near to the original pixel that is targeted. So from here, what we can do is we can add more elements to our selection. I'm actually going to skip ahead as I do this because it can take a while. As I'm doing this, I may adjust the threshold slightly. Um, maybe it should be a bit lower so I can be a bit more incremental with my additions. When I'm satisfied with my selection, I'll add an adjustment layer. Here we're actually warming up our subject because he appears a bit cold. And then finally, all I'll do is touch up anything that I've missed on this mask with the brush tool. Thanks for watching this video. What would you like me to cover next? Let me know in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, make sure to click that bell icon to be notified when we upload more content. Take care.